Hi guys, it's Ellie and today I'm back with another video. This video is going to be about, um, do you know how in my last video I did speak about what I want to be when I'm older and my goals and that? I'm going to say what I'm doing to get to try and get like get myself to them at that point and what you should be doing if you want to get to different points. Like, You need to start thinking about how you're going to get there from now and um, from a young age because if you're like older and you still don't know how to get to the job that you want to get to it's not going to be very good so start thinking more now so basically I want to be a triple threat but then I've also added one more to it so I'm going to call it a quadruple threat um, so it's a dancer, singer, actress or slash actor and if you're a boy and girl and then a model as well um, so first I'm going to speak about dancing how what I'm doing to get to my goal of being a dancer is I quit my old dance school so I decided that I didn't want to go there anymore because I don't do all the dance styles I want to do and I start, I'm going to start a new one in like two weeks um, and it's going and where I'm, where I'm going to start right my two cousins go there and they do street dance as well and I want to do street dance so I'm going to be doing street dance contemporary um, ballet and tap and then they also do acrobatics in your street dance class they do like all of them combined in different in the other classes so you get commercial in street dance, you get acrobatics in street dance, in your tap, you, no, in your ballet you get a bit of your modern street dance but you're modern, you know what I mean, that sort of stuff, in your tap you are using like, basically tap is just tap, ballet is using flexibility, it's like acrobatics, so they're all using each other, um, so what I'm going to do that is I'm starting a new dance school obviously, and that's how I'm going to try and get my best, because then I'll be able to, be able to compete at this dance school, and you know, try and get really good so when I'm older I already have my whole dancing done. Um, next up is singing for GCSEs because I'm cho I chose them this year because when I go back to school in September we'll have a left year. Have, I have four days left so it's Sunday today and I'm finishing on Thursday so I have four days left and then I'll be finished with being year eight. Woo, I don't like year eight, I'm, gonna, I'm like, really ready to start year nine. Um, so I picked my GCSEs this year and I'm starting them in year 9, so I'm starting them at start of September, well technically the last day of August, but yeah. Um, for GCSEs I chose um, French, PE, also I'm doing dance and PE as well, so I'm helping myself by choosing PE for GCSEs and music, which I'm going to be singing in. So I'm, th I'm like, I'm trying to help myself through that, so if I didn't choose music, I wouldn't be getting good te techniques for singing and breathing and that. So that's why I chose music, so that's what I'm doing to help myself with that. Um, so yeah, and my music teacher says that she thinks I'll be able to go a long way. And I'm also getting more confident because I've posted a video of me singing on Musical.ly and on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, go follow me. A bit of self promo there, you know. Um, my name on both musically and instagram is ellie may lower dwells i think it's the same as the channel name i'm not actually sure no but this name might just be ellie, ellie wells but um i'll link them both down below so please go follow or have a look at that video if you don't want to that's fine because obviously it's kind of i'm self promoting myself here but yeah um next one is acting what i'm doing for acting is i'm looking online places like because I live in England and specifically Leicester, I'm looking at places that are really big. So I looked at De Montfort Hall because they always do plays. But then the biggest place that I probably do it here is the Curve. The thing is, the Curve never usually ha hold open auditions, but they have done it for two plays this year. The first play I didn't get to sign up to audition for. I didn't get to sign up for the deadline because of printing and stuff. The second one I was able to do it online. So I did that one and so that was Scrooge and I'm waiting for um, an email to say my, when my audition is and I really hope that I smash my audition and get through because that would be so amazing to perform at the Curve at Christmas. Um, and that's not just to do with acting, this is singing and it has singing and dancing in as well, like the Scrooge thing. So I'm really hoping that I get through. If I do it, it'll be like a dream because then maybe I'll get to start my acting career. I'm just going to keep looking online for different auditions try and sign up. And then the last thing is modelling. 
So I'm looking in line again for places where you can like sign yourself up to these modelling places and just send a picture and they'll say if they want you for a modelling job. The one that I've looked at is Lux, so L-U-X-E. Um, they have teen modelling, you don't have to be experienced or anything, but I kind of am because when I was younger, like from the age of three to five, I was I did do modelling, um, but then I quit for dancing, so I want to get back into all of it. But it's going to be hard, especially if I get through the play and everything. Um, but I'm just pushing myself to try and do whatever I can to reach my goals for the future. Um, and I really want to sign up. I'm not sure if I'm allowed yet because of how busy I am. Um, but if I'm allowed, then yeah, I want to really want to sign up. And it also says, I actually think it's really good it says it because it's the bottom of the teen models part. Um, don't quit school or anything just to try and be a model because it's hard to be a model. So you need something to fall back on. That's why I want to do model as like a part time job outside of school and not quit school for it. Because um, you can do that, like you can just do a bit on the side of school and everything. I would love to do that so much. Um, so I'm hoping that I can sign up for that soon, maybe next year. Um, also, as I spoke about all my goals there, um, with dancing I'm also practicing splits and my flexibility, trying to do that every night, trying to push myself with exercise, so trying to go do a run around like my area, trying to do runs around my area sometimes. Um, my brother, me and my brother do, are doing this, not a, really a challenge. We just, like, he does it every day, so I'm starting to copy him. He's 11. Um, we do have a YouTube channel together. We haven't posted any videos yet. We're going to soon. So and it's called Sibling Chase. So when we post a video, I'll tell you guys. And then please go and subscribe because we that's like, you're going to see us get on and then not get on. It's going to be funny, okay? Um, but yeah, so when, so every day he always starts, he just, even in the morning, you're just sitting on the settee watching telly ready to go to school, he runs downstairs and starts doing press-ups and push-ups and I'm like, what are you doing? But now I've decided, now he's like, well I'm trying to get a six pack for the summer, which I'm not trying to do by the way, it's not what I'm doing, I'm just thinking I need to try and get my fitness up for my dancing and I really want to, so what I do is I do um, sit up, so I put my feet under the settee and do loads of sit ups. Obviously, holding my head because if you put your arms like this and throw your arms up, then you're basically making it easier for yourself because you're using your arms as power. So, obviously, hold your head and then I'm doing some press ups, which <laughs> don't work very well because I'm really bad at press ups. And then I'm doing like other stuff like that with my brother. So, yeah, I'm doing that. And also, this other thing that I'm trying to because I don't feel like I'm happy with myself right now because I'm being really lazy mardy, like I, I'm not how I want to be as a person so I'm going to change myself up a bit basically I just want to get a new haircut I might be dyeing it because I want to have a new change so I can see myself and then think well, I've, well my appearance has changed maybe I can change as a person that's how I want to try and show myself even though I shouldn't have to show myself that but I also just want my haircut anyway because I want to change my hair side a bit um, and because it's frizzy and everything so and I might be dyeing it not fully like ombre so I'm just going to change myself a bit and try and become the best person I can so here's some tips for you to try and get to your job so say you want to be a footballer um, and you think you're not that good at the moment you think that you're really bad and even you can kids are better than you well say you want to be okay so this is really bad because I'm not going to be I'm not good at football but just say that you want to try and get, if you like want to be doing the sort of person that does all the tricks and all that and like, not the showy off person but do you know what I mean, like you want to be like showing off your tricks but not in like a mean way, not in like a bratty way, you want to be like trying to show other people and teach other people, try and look on YouTube at videos of how to do tricks and try and at least learn like one trick a month, then for a year you've learned 12 tricks. Same with dancing or, or acrobatics, gymnastics, anything like that, try and do that. Um, just practice, like say you want to be an actress slash actor, or have, when you have your script, always read through it, read and read and read through. My drama teacher told me, which I think this is really good advice, so you have your script in front of you, right? You read your line in your head, then you read it out loud, 
and then you put the thing behind your back so you can't see it and then you've got to repeat it at the line that you're trying to learn because if you have it down here your eyes like are trained and your head wants you to look down to have a look so you, then you won't remember your lines so always put it outside of your eye reach um, so yeah I just really hope that I've kind of inspired someone to try and get start getting to their goals now and I really want to motivate people to carry on and if they're not happy with their self uh, if other people aren't happy with you but you're happy with yourself do not change yourself if you think you're not happy with yourself not because of the way you look how much you weigh what you wear anything like that if you think that don't change your personality for anyone either but if you think that you could be a better person inside then try that for, for all means just try that come on please um yeah so that's really weird but yeah um okay please please give me feedback on these videos I know some people already have and told me that um, they want me to post more videos even though I've only posted one I have like a load of subscribers which is still bad but it doesn't really matter because I just want to get out to people who do watch our videos get all these messages out um, so yeah thank you for watching our videos and commenting please carry on doing that and I love you bye